Good morning, Sylvie's here. Good morning, Chairman. The uh, agenda room. Good morning, Judge. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. The agenda meeting will begin in five minutes. Good morning, Commissioner. Oldman's here. Good morning, Fisher. Good morning. All right. I've uh, I've heard Commissioner Kolkmeyer is Commissioner Rupon. How about Commissioner Coleman? Commissioner Holzman? Yep. Right. We'll give just a little bit of time to see if the other commissioners will be joining.
give just a little bit of time to see if the other commissioners will be joining. Commissioner Roops here. Good morning, Commissioner. Apologize for my tardiness. <clears throat> no problem. Uh, we're actually still waiting on Commissioner Coleman as well. Okay, Commissioner Coleman is here. Sorry for the delay. All right. Good morning, Commissioner. That brings good us morning. all into attendance, so we will go ahead and call the agenda meeting to order. I ask those participating on the call, please mute your phone unless you need to speak. Uh, we have a fairly brief meeting today, just three tariffs and new orders, uh, one brief case discussion, um, and that's it. So first order of business is to approve the minutes from the June 9th uh, agenda. You all have seen those. Are there any additions or corrections? Hearing none, all those in favor of approving the minutes from June 9th, say aye. 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 Those minutes are approved five to zero. First up in tariffs and new orders is file number EO 2020-0227. This is in the matter of the second prudence review of the Missouri Energy Efficiency Investment Act, Cycle 2, Energy Efficiency Programs of Evergy Metro, Inc., DBA Evergy Missouri Metro. Um, Evergy is seeking rehearing of the report and order that we issued in this case back in May. Uh, this order finds that there's not sufficient reason for rehearing and denies the request. So with that, I recommend that we approve this order version one. Commissioner Root. I am in support of the order. Support. Commissioner Coleman. I support the order. Commissioner Holzman. I support the order. And Commissioner Kolkmeyer. And I support the order. All right. All those in favor of approving the order as drafted version one, say aye. 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 That order is approved five to zero. Next up, file number EO 2020-0262. This is in the matter of the ninth prudence review of costs subject to the commission-approved fuel adjustment clause for Evergy Missouri West, Inc., DBA Evergy Missouri West. 
Uh, Evergy is seeking a rehearing on this report and order uh, that we issued back in May. Um, this order also finds that there's not sufficient reason for rehearing and denies the request. So I recommend that we approve this order, version one, as well. Commissioner Root? I am in support of this order. Commissioner Coleman? I support the order. Commissioner Holzman? I support the order. Commissioner Kolkmeyer? And I'm in support as well. All right. All those in favor of approving the order as drafted version one, say aye. 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 That order is approved five to zero. Final order today is file number AO 2022-0346. This is in the matter of the assessment against the uh, public utilities in the state of Missouri for the expenses of the commission for the fiscal year commencing July 1st, 2022. So this order outlines the commission's expenses for the coming year um, that we expect to incur and thereby the associated assessment calculated for fiscal year 2023. Uh, this order also directs the Budget and Fiscal Services Department to issue the individual assessments to the utilities um, as we lay out in this order. So with that, uh, I recommend that we approve this order, version one. Commissioner Root? I am supporting this order as well. Commissioner Coleman? I support the order. Commissioner Holzman? I support the order. And Commissioner Kolkmeyer? I'm also in support. All right, all those in favor of approving the order as drafted version one, say aye. 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 That order is approved five to zero. That concludes reports and orders. Um, as I mentioned, we do have one brief case discussion. This is in file number GR 2021-0320. Uh, Judge Pridgen. Uh, Mr. Chairman, thank you. Good afternoon. I put this memo on to see if the commission knows how it wants to proceed in the remaining two issues, uh, if you'll recall, the parties uh, filed a stipulation and agreement settling most of the issues, but we have a couple of uh, school board association issues pending. And uh, I uh, put the memo on to try to summarize the party's positions on those issues. Uh, basically, um, uh, school board association asked the commission to change the balancing method from cash out to carry over. And uh, it also asks for a standalone tariff for a school transportation uh, program issues. Uh, all the other parties oppose uh, the school board's requests. Uh, your operation of law date, by the way, is July 20th. So you do have a little time if you're not prepared to move forward today. Okay, thank you, Judge. Um, we'll go ahead and look at this, um, these two issues. Um, We'll take them separately and go around and, and see what everyone thinks. Um, but I will go ahead and start off by saying um, I don't believe uh, that any of the school board association's recommendations are appropriate. Um, so I'm against both of these, uh, but, but I will uh, give some explanation and, and give every uh, commissioner an opportunity for input. Um, so the first one is, uh, should we modify the um, EDG's aggregation balancing and cash out charges. Um, the School Board Association asserts that Empire's tariff charges um, are not cost based, um, and I think that that's inaccurate. I think Empire's fee for balancing the services uh, to small transportation customers was supported on a cost basis when it was authorized by the Commission uh, back in file number GR 2009 0434. Um, cash outs are common and reasonable practice for resolving imbalances in both uh, gas corporations and interstate pipelines. I think the application of multipliers to cash out prices uh, is another common practice, not only of gas corporations like Empire, but also interstate pipelines that use uh, the economic signal to encourage shippers to closely balance gas uh, delivered and gas received. Um, so I think each of uh, the EDG's upstream pipelines has its own schedule of cash out multipliers, uh, but EGB, EDG applies only to the least severe of these cash out multipliers uh, to its service area. So additionally, I think staff offered credible evidence that uh, Empire's costs have actually increased since the applicable balancing service rates were established. And I think if anything, uh, the rates Empire is charging are more likely to be below its actual costs. Um, and so accordingly, uh, again, I don't think that this recommendation from the school board um, is appropriate. Commissioner Roop on the on that issue. Uh, yeah, I agree with your position. Actually, on, on both of them, I was against the school board associations positions on both the issues. 
for many of the reasons that you stated um, on the first one there. Okay. Commissioner Coleman? I agree also, Mr. Chairman, with your position. Thank you. Okay. Um, Commissioner Holzman? I also concur with the position of the chair. Commissioner Kochmeyer? Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm also in agreement with you on uh, on these as well. So, on okay. both of them. Okay. Um, so it sounds like um, we're all in agreement on on both of those. Um, I, I will say on the second one um, that a new tariff may be appropriate later, and I would encourage Empire to follow through with its proposal to work with the school board association staff and the other interested parties to develop a standalone STP tariff uh, prior to the next general rate case. Um, so unless any commissioner has anything to add on that. No, I wholeheartedly, this Commissioner Kochmeyer, I wholeheartedly agree with what you just stated there, that they should try to work together. Okay. Um, well, with that, Judge, that should get you what you need. Um, so unless there's any other comments from commissioners, we will conclude that case discussion. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. All right. Thank you, Judge. Um, so all that leaves us with is scheduling. Um, as uh, as we know, uh, we're in the middle of the evidentiary hearing for EO 2022-0040. That's Liberty's petition to obtain a financing order uh, that authorizes the is issuance of securitized utility tariff bonds. Uh, for qualified extraordinary costs. That's going on in room 310 uh, with Judge Woodruff and we'll reconvene, uh, I believe at one o'clock, correct, correct me Judge if I'm wrong, on the one o'clock reconvening. That is correct. Okay, and then that hearing is scheduled to continue through um, Friday, June 17th. Um, next week, Sunday the 19th through Wednesday the 22nd is the MARC conference in Chicago. Uh, which I think several commissioners will attend in person or virtually. Uh, Monday, June 20th is a state holiday. Thursday, June 23rd, we have agenda at noon. Again, that will be Thursday at noon. Monday, June 27th, uh, we have an evidentiary hearing in EA 2022-0099. Uh, that's Ameren's application for a CCN under section 393.170.1 relating to transmission investments in southeast Missouri. That will be with Judge Pridgen in room 310 at 8.30 a.m. Wednesday, June 29th, uh, we will have agenda at 10.15 a.m. We also have an evidentiary hearing that day in EC 2022-0148. That is Keeley Swapshire Complainant v. Union Electric Company, DBA, Amherst, Missouri, Respondent. That will be via WebEx at 9 a.m. with Judge Keeling. Thursday, June 30th, uh, we have a continuation of the evidentiary hearing in EA 2022-0099. Again, that's Ameren's CCN for transmission investments in Southeast Missouri. That will be in room 310 at 8.30 a.m. with Judge Pridgen. Monday, uh, July 4th is obviously a state holiday. Uh, Thursday, July 7th, we will have agenda at 10.15 a.m. Wednesday, June 13th, agenda at 10.15 a.m. And then Wednesday, June 3rd, uh, I'm sorry, July 13th. And then Wednesday, July 13th through Thursday, July 14th, we will also have an evidentiary hearing in GR 2022-0122. That's the matter of Summit Natural Gas of Missouri, Inc.'s changes to the company's purchase gas adjustment clause. That will be in room 310 at 8.30 a.m. with Judge Sire. So that gets us out uh, through the middle of July. Any comments, questions, or requests regarding scheduling? All right, hearing none, and uh, with no other business coming before the body, we will stand adjourned. Thank you, Commissioners. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Chairman.